Welcome to QNE Software, a GST compliant accounting software for your company. In this video, I will talk about partial exemption. Partial exemption is for users who make both taxable and exempted supplies and also known as partly exempted supplier or a mixed supplier. The term partial exemption is used to describe the situation of a mixed supplier who has apportioned the amount of residual input claim in respect of taxable and exempted supplies using a partial exemption method. Before we begin, the tax code for partial exemption is TXRE and make sure the posting account has been assigned. Now let's create a purchase invoice with TXRE. In this invoice, I will purchase 1,000 kilograms of cement. Make sure that the tax code TXRE is applied. Now let's create a sales invoice with mixed supply. Since selling a house is categorized as exempted supplies, then the tax code will be ES. For shops, it will be under SR tax code. In this example, we assume that this invoice is the only invoice and sales in the taxable period from 1st of April 2015 to 31st July 2015. Before you create a new tax return, make sure you have selected partial exemption in the drop down menu. Now let's create a new tax return. and execute generate draft data. System will calculate the input and output tax for you, including the input tax from partial exemption. Click on partial exemption tab. Exempted input tax can be recovered in full if the total value of exempt supplies is less than the prescribed amount. The total value of the exempted supplies does not exceed an average of 5,000 per month and is not exceeding 5% of the total value of total supplies made in that period. QE Optimum will calculate the IRR percentage automatically according to the supply during the taxable period. The IRR percentage is calculated using the standard method. Change this rate if you want to use your own method for the calculation of tax apportionment. You can find this figure in Partial Exemption tab. Click on the Details tab. In here, you'll be able to view the taxable amount and residual input tax from TXRE. You can trace back the amount by clicking on the figure and the system will display all the transactions that are under the mixed supply with the tax code. TXRE. Click on the tax return tab. In here, you'll be able to see the input tax, which is 10% of the residual input tax. Now, I will talk about annual or longer period adjustment. Annual or longer period adjustment is a recalculation of GST liabilities over a tax year or longer period after the initial apportionment of the residual input tax in every taxable period. Before we begin, make sure you have the correct GST settings. The input tax code must be AP and the output tax code must be AS. Let's add a new adjustment. Open the GST menu, Tax Returns, Partial Exemption Adjustment, then click on New.
Click on Calculate Adjustment and the system will calculate the adjustment amount for the specified period. Note that tax return must be submitted and draft tax return will not be taken into account. The adjustment amount is the total claim or total recovered minus total eligible. The adjustment amount will be carried forward to the next taxable period. If total eligible is greater than total claim, the adjustment will be input tax adjustment. Otherwise, it will be output tax adjustment. Kindly take note that for capital goods adjustments, users need to maintain the calculation of the capital goods adjustment for 5 to 10 years in Excel. Then pass a journal adjustment every year in the longer period adjustment. Usually, the double entries will show as below. If over claims, then you will need to account the output tax using the tax code AP. If under claims, then you will need to account for output tax using the tax code AS. Thank you for watching.